chibe mbachitila, umweni wako lwe, alia efyo kolwe alia. Mchisungu, when you go to Rome, do what Romans do. Intambi na sho, ni intambi. Mailo, ba present waka inde chilema, valia kurubemba, kwa chiti mkulu, kumungwi, mkusefya pangwena, vali veni. Now, let's put it on record. Wachiti mkuru nebu mbali abo, they made the request bali lombe kutila. Kuno wabantu wafu ensana wapunda owe. Mutule kuno kuli ensana. Na kubenshita ya wa president when the president came to answer, to respond to the request. Baka inde chile mabe na barandi lokutila. Problemu ya kuno fionso mofia wa muno mzambia. Problemu huna ngani laziness and people's love for corruption. Ukutia mwe bantu mwalibelele fintu fya free na corruption. Nambaka mwomu noko tulefu mwukukunuma. Zambian people love to work. This government failed them. Last farming season, fertilizer abantu bali yaka na mwome da. The farming inputs were delivered late. This is one thing the president should have taken responsibility, but he did not do. Number two, the president said, this new government has brought hard work and no corruption. It all contradicts exactly what the Chief Justice, Honorable Mumba Malila, but Chief Justice Eva Ngalila is the one, is a rule and a true custodian of the judiciary in Zambia. He said there is a problem in the way we are fighting corruption. He said we are not doing enough, as you can see here. But President Akai Ndichilema said, no, under this government, there is no corruption. There is no laziness. I am a government of Mineko. They were rewarding corruption and laziness. That's what the president said. That is very contradictory to what is happening. President Akai Ndichilema should learn to humble himself. Get correction. When you go, Kwisano number one, Kwichefia, Mwaunfoba, Kanabe Sanga, Balanda, Mwave, Tako Nukutila, Wachitimu kulu, mwinelube mbalo mchisungu, your royal highness, paramount chief, chitimu kulu, not to refer you, mwinelube mba, mwinelube mba, ah, dilu mbwe liyo, eh, eh, but when you're speaking in English, at least make sure you acknowledge him as a paramount chief, e mchinshi mkwa ikuda mwaide, mwananda pantambi, nga mwaya kulube mba, kukonke ntambi, sha kulube mba, lefine mwaide ku England, mwasanga his majesty, tamwa la vide ko mwari konkele ntambi, you are calling him the majesty, the majesty, and we appreciated that. But on this particular journey that you went, let's listen to what the president said when serious issues were brought to him. The issue of hunger and the issue of corruption. Listen to what he responded. The culture of business in our country was beginning to be pronounced and rewarded through corruption, through other measures. Your leadership now is saying, let us work hard. Chikangkulo kutila wa presidenti, balei chefi yako, when you go to a stage like that one, you are a guest. The mokuya umfuafie and you are knowledge to allow bombela, but you can't defend everything. As a Zambian citizens, we are concerned. We want to know what security threat was the president under when he went for Ukusefya Pangwena. Because according to diplomacy, our Belenga diplomacy, when you see a president speaking and he has got four security personnel, as the case was, it is symbolic of a serious security threat on his life or a possibility of a disruption, hence the positioning of those. So out of concern, the people of Zambia would want to know, is the president safe? If he's not safe, what is he afraid of? We need to know. Things are not as you are saying there. There is a lot of corruption under this government, and your friends are acknowledging and they are making amends. But if you can't acknowledge and accept the rot that is happening under this government, where medicines are being stolen, where deals are still being done for who you know, until you recognize your responsibility and make amends, this country is going to crash.